So on this video we are dealing with a cat called Baby Boy. Um, he's a very, very big cat as you can see, but he's terrified of being groomed. He had a couple of bad experiences in the past, so he's always very, very nervous. So on this situation we always have his mummy helping him out. Um, his mummy helps relax him and um, without her it would be a lot more difficult because he'd, he'd be too frightened. So um, they have been on holiday, so Baby Boy has a few mats which we're going to shave out and um, so his mummy always calms him down sometimes she has to hold him in her arms um, just to calm him down but I always think it's just imperative to involve the owners on any groom because they know their cats inside out and many many times that they can relax their cats and it's a familiar voice and a familiar face so um, we'll be filming a little bit as we go along so that's it for now and then see you a bit later so I'm just going to show you before you do any work, and especially for nervous cats, um, the thing to do is to make them really relaxed. So um, normally I bring a, a catnip mouse with me, um, which Baby Boy normally loves, but he's certainly smelling that. And then we just start stroking the head and stroking around the cheeks, so just making them nice and relaxed. And when I'm coming, obviously I'm going to have to shave um, an area that cats don't normally like, which is the back area. But at the moment I'm just concentrating on getting him a bit relaxed and stroking around his head. There we go. So I'm about to shave, there's um, a few mats here on the side, um, which most cats, um, like I said earlier, don't like being touched. So I have the owner really calming um, baby boy down and he's really enjoying the head strokes why I just concentrate on the shaving. Now there has been some hissing which is understandable because he's nervous but this is the best way forward for these type of cats. So why I'm touching an area he doesn't like, his mummy is giving him the best possible head and neck massage. And this is what holistic grooming is all about. Oh no, no. Being good my boy. So obviously um, we had to put baby boy on his side just to do some of the matting underneath and around the nethers which they don't like. Um, so he's anxious, he's been hissing a bit. Once again, he's in his mummy's arms. This is the best possible way to do this. Um, she's stroking him and trying to relax him. He's obviously not going to enjoy this because many cats don't um, like not being in control. But it's the nicest way to do this when they're matted. So I'm just shaving those mats out there. His mummy can concentrate on making him feel better and then when we lift the leg up, leg up I can just very gently just shave him underneath and he's hardly flinching, this is the nicest way to do it. Again, this is what holistic grooming is all about, is considering the cat's well-being um, as the utmost importance before anything else and then working with the temperament of the cat. So this is one of my clients, this is Baby Boy's mum, so if you just wanted to say a few words about um, the groom. Yeah, so I just wanted to share, share that doing the grooming with Anita really changed the whole experience for my cat. Well, also for me, because in past experience that has always been such a struggle. The cat was kind of traumatised for three days and uh, it was very stressful for me to just hear it like meowing terribly. So now it's much smoother than it used to be and the fact that I can accompany the cat and really it, it relieves some stress from the cat and uh, and I was already playing around behind me in the, <laughs> in the entrance with his mouse so all good <laughs> thanks Anita